doing this on Monday morning, but unfortunately circumstances prevented that. So we're here now. Now let's jump in real fast and take a look. The Kickstarter is doing great. You guys are absolutely crazy and I really appreciate your support. We are currently at $37 or 30, $37. We are at $37 and 37 cents people. And I couldn't be happier. I can almost get a burger at five guys now. Uh, no, we, we are at $3,737. Uh, and that is fantastic. That means that we are just a little bit away from adding the second stretch or the, the third stretch goal, I guess, uh, tier or series number four. So we're going to have to go back and vote what those are, but that's kind of problematic because I haven't even finished modeling series one or series two, series three. I haven't mo been modeling series three. However, uh, the votes are in and the next series is going to be Greek monsters. So today we're going to be modeling some Greek monsters. Now I have I have a little, I, of course, I've been modeling in the interim. I've been working on some models uh, for you guys. It's been going great. And ta-da! Here's the first one, the Hydra. I have always, I had a sketch up on my wall for the longest time of a cute Hydra that I wanted to model. And I, I won't say that it looked exactly like this, but it looked a little bit like this. Um, the problem was, I was like, ah. Uh, I'm never going to get to it. Why am I bothering to leave this thing on the wall? And I took it down and I threw it away. I was a fool. <laughs> but, I mean, I think this cute little Hydra turned out really good. Um, I think he's he's adorable and I dig him. Let's pop it back into solid mode. And, uh, yeah, I think I think he's looking really good. I do think, though, that... I don't know. There, there are a couple of things. In the, I'm at that point in the design where I've modeled it. I've done some fiddling with it. I've done posed it, and I've done some fiddling with that. And now I'm going, yeah, but is there more? Could I do more? Is there a little bit more that I could do? Uh, one of the things that I'm really wondering about, first of all, I'm wondering about this chess piece. Like, is that too much of an overhang? Do I need to get rid of that chess piece entirely? Because it keeps getting squished sideways. I don't know. Maybe I can fix that real fast. Like I say, we're on fiddle mode here. This is mirrored, so we need to... Keep in mind that if we're going to work on one side, we're going to work on both sides while we do it. Oh, you are being a pain in my neck. I want to select you, you, and you. And then slide it up just a little bit. That's better, but I think, I think the problem is I can't... I may have to apply the mirror modifier and do it that way. But let's, let's explore the Hydra real fast. So what I did with the heads was I put three of them on here because we are making a mini. These things are very, very small. And if you compare them with, say, Cthulhu in the first one, we'll just overlap him here. Uh, you'll notice, like, look at how small these heads are. So I'm concerned about the detail. The test print will be educational. And I, I suspect there will be some modifications afterwards. Part of me wondered, like, do I need to make the tails more interesting? Here, if I take the, if I take the rig... And I put it in rest position so that you can see how I modeled the tails. There's not a lot to them. They're extremely basic. But I think once they're intertwined with the head and everything, I think that this tail works fine. I do wish that I could get a fifth, a fourth and a fifth head. We got to do odd number heads on a Hydra, right? That's just, that's just the way the Hydra works. We do odd numbered heads. Um... Uh, but I wanted to make each of the heads different, and I wanted the heads to kind of have a one, two, three thing going on with them. So with one, the ears are flat, the, the crest is flat, and he's got one big buck tooth, as well as a just derpy expression that I absolutely love. Um, I had to put a a special modifier. I used a simple deform modifier on the on the eyes so that he could... <laughs> I love the animation on him. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder if I have, oh, my num lock is off. Nah, he's much better that way. So yeah, uh, uh, I've got a derpy head. And then number two over here has one, two spikes on the ears, one, two spikes on the head. I was going to just give him two teeth, but I could not find two teeth that I thought suited him. Although the teeth were kind of funny. Uh, there's something going on with the teeth. I need to fix that. And then 
number three has the nose spike and two teeth, three spikes on the side, three spikes on the top. So there's a one, two, three thing going on with the different Hydra heads. Uh, let me fix, let me fix these teeth real fast. I wonder why they're doing that. Well, they're probably doing that because, so in Blender, uh, whenever you're deforming something to a bone, what it does is it just creates a ton of vertex groups and each every vertex can be a part of a group and so it takes these vertex groups and it makes the um you know it decides which vertexes will be affected by which bone and then assigns each bone to a group it's it's absolutely brilliant uh, let's actually let's remove and assign how are we doing now are those teeth straightened out cool straighten out those teeth so the teeth were being affected by a different vertex group and I just had to uh had to fix that. So overall I'm I'm loving my derpy little oh, I'm not loving that. I need to fix that a little. I need the body to be a bit higher. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of give him a little a little paleo bump there. Like a like a uh plesiosaurus. He's gonna have just a little bump on his back. Does that fix it yeah not quite i mean we are bending quite a lot and so the bend is going to suck some of that down into it i don't think there's any good solution for this other than i don't know i wonder if i bendy bone the first one here no it did not do me any good what if i bendy bone no i've already bendy boned that i don't think there's much i can do for that uh, other than maybe raise them up a little bit, but then that'll push that a little bit. So maybe I need to, maybe I need to add like back spikes or something to, again, it's so small. Nobody's going to see it. It's in there. I'm going to do a test print, see how this goes, uh, and see if we can figure it out. So now, meanwhile, I have already in my, the way that I organize my objects, all of the parts of the Hydra are in this group right here. So we can go through all of the parts, but then I'd use that so that I can have one object here, which, and I think I've already done this. Yes, booleans, all of those parts together. Uh, oh, and I was in the middle of adding the colors to this one so that when I do this, the colors will follow. So let's do that right now. Now, one thing that I'm debating, Lady Aslock, good morning. Scott, good morning. Notification snafus. Yeah, definitely some notification snafus. I tried my best to make sure that the world knew that this was happening, and YouTube was like, nah. So I don't I don't expect huge uh, um, views live. Yeah, so, yeah, that's we're talking about. So you guys can see in YouTube the chat over there. Um, there's a conversation about nobody got a notification for this and, uh, yep, that's, that's true. That happened. YouTube decided that I was not worthy of their notification system. I don't know why. All right. So now that I've got the object, this is an empty object. There's nothing in this object, but watch this. When I hit viewport VI, my computer slows to a crawl while we wait for it to do the blender effect on everything. While we're waiting, uh, I have something fun that we can do. Have you guys been to Reddit slash funny signs? Hey, Nata, you were probably here the day before, so that's true. Um, that's hilarious. So they've got these funny signs, and I thought that we could, you know, have a little fun looking through funny signs. Sorry, I've seen that before. <laughs> See, this is a funny one. It says, thank you for driving carefully. And then right after the sign, <laughs> he went as far as the sign. I, it's the eating waffles on this one that throws me. Like, how often does that happen? Okay. <laughs> I like the high score sign. That's pretty good. This one's pretty funny. 
When I grow up, I want to be Cole, a man. You on your way, Cole. Oscar, a construction worker. Leo, a firefighter. Astrid, a pointer. Are we talking to dog or a cursor? I don't know. I'm confused. Hey, Hotfix is in the chat. Kate Ann, a vet. I mean, you know, there are steps to that one. Jack, a candlestick maker. Why not? Why not? Emma, a princess. There are reasons why not. Uh, Isabel, but you know what? I say if you want to be a princess, you can be a princess. Let's, let's make that happen. Isabel, a tooth fairy. Caitlin, a dentist. And Leah, a fire truck. I think she just wants to get with Leo real bad. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with Blender here. Ah, it's done. And notice now it's uh, now this has cut off the bottom. We got a nice little flat bottom. Is that overhang too much? Is that pushing it too much for ABS? I don't know. That's what test prints are to find out. Uh, but overall, he's looking really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and export the Hydra here and then we'll do a test print but we'll do a test print off camera I, I don't know you guys decide uh, our options right now are I can start modeling one of the other characters I'll probably start modeling the Minotaur or I can show you the process for making a test print uh, of this model you let me go know what you want to do and we will do that but the new characters that are going to be added uh, Typhon, Typhoon, Typhon, Typhon, I don't know. Uh, he's this Greek dude with a big beard and, and snakes for fingers. And snake body. Like he's all snake from the neck down. Lots of snake. Uh, that one's going to be fun. A minotaur, which, I mean, pretty simple. And I've already got a picture in my head of how he's going to look. Like I'm, I'm down with this one. Um, and it's not going to look the way that I originally wanted him to look. And then Cerberus. Now, I would love to swap out Cerberus for a um, for a Cyclops. Because, one, we've already got a three-headed character in here uh, in this very series. So two three-headed characters in one series. I mean, the other series is have lots of eyeballs and tentacles. So we can do that. Um, also, he's just going to be a cute... I'm going to make him a puppy. He's going to be a cute puppy, cute, cute little silver puppy. He's going to be adorable with three heads. Um, and the Cyclops, I mean, like Cyclops, yeah, he's Cyclops, but he's going to be man-shaped, and so is a Minotaur. So, yeah, we could go either way with that one. But do we want to model one of these, or do we want to uh, show you guys how to do a test print? Let's go over to the chat section and see what's going on. Uh, told me 10 p.m., when I did 10 p.m. That is weird. Uh, Hotfix, glad I caught the stream. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you caught the stream as well. I'm uh, back to the full color package. I'm very excited to see what I come up with. Uh, it's what we come up with, guys. The votes are very important. I would have done just more Lovecraft creatures, but you guys said you wanted to do Greek creatures, so we're doing Greek, and that's very cool. Um, Good morning, uh, Vince. Good to see you. Am I going to see you at uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival? That's next week. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Painter, I got a notification, but I did click the notify me button the other day. Uh, first time catching a live. <gasps> did I accidentally set this stream to happen at 10 a.m. and then I hit start now and or 10 p.m.? Oh, my goodness. I'm the idiot. No, I think what happened was... This was originally going to be a stream that was going to happen on Monday. And so it was going to happen in Monday evening. And I'm thinking next Monday I may do a, like, late night with the professor stream uh, after the kids have gone to bed. Because the problem is trying to do a stream in the afternoon with kids just doesn't work. I wish that I were doing that. If I were doing this full time, I would be streaming from now until... Uh, you know, the kids started getting home. So we would have like four hour live streams and I might, I might go on Twitch or something. I don't know. 
I voted Predator and Alien, so I'm hoping that makes Series 4. It's possible that the movie monsters could make Series 4. Uh, first time catching a live stream. Good late afternoon from England. 1066, thank you very much for being here. Is that a thing? Is 1066 a thing? It's almost like 1080. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to clue me in on to what 1066 means. Okay, so uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of votes as to what are we going to do next. So what we're gonna do next is I'm going to show you guys the next step in doing a test print just for fun. I don't know how long this will take. Hopefully this won't take too long. Hydra, let's open it up. So the first thing I do is I open up the model in 3D Builder. 3D Builder is a program that comes with Windows. Uh, Vince says, I work so hard, I have to miss Rocky Mountain. You know what? That's fine. That's no problem. 3D Builder comes with Windows, and it allows you to, um, to correct your meshes. It checks your meshes to make sure everything's copacetic, and then, and then it goes with it. Uh, 13 people watching, but only 9 likes. Hit the like button, you all. Smash that like button, as the kids say. All right. Let's, let's open up three uh bamboo studio and you can also do this in orca slicer you can also do this in prusa slicer although last time i checked in prusa slicer it was a little bit wonky like it would let you do the coloring but when you were done doing the coloring it would like uh, like undo it in the view i don't know it was weird okay i'm right now opening up the reduce purge in bamboo script uh because I am not running the beta version that has added that feature, but the beta version has added that feature, and I'm very excited that that Bamboo is doing this. Have you guys heard? Bamboo is going to be um, making it so that everybody gets the reduced purge. They've, they, apparently, they've tested it, they like what they saw, and they're making it happen. So I'm excited about that. I hope you all are excited about that. Uh, because it's it's very exciting news when when they make it better. All right, here we go. We've got him in Bamboo Slicer. Let's go ahead and pull up the paint tools. And I'm just going to do some quick painting. Now, part of the reason why I designed these models the way that I do is so that the painting will be as quick and easy as possible. Now, I will say this. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on the colors that I've chosen so far. And if you guys are like, you know, he would look better in uh, Chime Up, and I will try him out in another color. I am entirely, entirely open to the idea that there may be other colors that are better suited for... How did I get both sides of that eyeball by just coloring one side? It must be able to sneak underneath it. That might be a problem. I may have to fix that. Yep, he's sneaking underneath it too. I don't know what's going on there. This guy, you can only see the white of his eyes around the one side though, so there's that. I also love that we got angry face, neutral face, derp face. <laughs> I love head number one. I, I I think he's just got the most personality. He just, he, he's just, he, he, you gotta give him the love. He's so cool. All right, let's grab the highlighter here. Now, the other thing that bugs me is we're only using black right there. And I mean, it's not the only time in these models that there's been just a little highlight of black on the eyeballs, uh, and that's it. But part of me is like, can I can I take this creature? You know, could could I use a different color there? The eyes don't have to be black, but would they look good in a color that I can use elsewhere? Also, right now the toenails are white, but I could just as easily make them yellow, or I could make them the eyeball color. Like if we decide that the eyeballs would be better off looking. Um, I don't know, blue or red, red eyes. We could try some red eyes and then the toenails could also be red. I think that's, I think that's a good possibility. Let's play with it. Chat is saying, let's see, 
Professor After Dark, yes. Uh, which, you know, the Professor After Dark is going to be very much like the Professor Before Dark. I, I do not... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do the whole stream in ASMR mode. And we can all just get the tinglies together. Turn up your microphones. And sit back and relax to the Professor After Dark. I don't know if we'll be, I don't know how long we'll be doing that, but it sure is silly fun for now. <laughs> All right. Now, one thing that I, I find fun and interesting is that, you know, for, for object. Okay. So there's, there's another way that I could do this and I probably should be doing this, this other way. Uh, you know, what? I'm going to show you guys a technique. I'm having a hard time getting this because some of the angles, particularly down here, aren't sharp enough for the tool to like. Yeah, you know, it's 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 hard to get the right angle. Actually, I think I managed it that time. And as long as I can isolate these guys in an island, I can crank up the smart fill to a hundred percent and then just fill in the island like that. Oops. Oh, that island goes all the way down. Uh Geek Toy Box. Hi. Good to see you. Um oh I, I you know I, I keep on doing this. I, I would start and then not fit. Battle of Hastings, 1066. Okay, cool, man. I've heard of the Battle of Hastings. I have a buddy who is more of a history buff than I am. So he, he would probably know the Battle of Hastings. Like, the fact that I don't know the Battle of Hastings, he'd be like, Joe, come on! <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the alternate method of painting these. So I'm going to go 100%, and I'm just going to paint the whole body black. Now, w w watch this, okay? Oh, you know what? I'm going to erase all painting. Sometimes you just got to start all over. 100% paint them all dark green. And you go, well, that's not the main color. No, it's not. But it's much easier to catch the angle, the necessary angle, on the these parts. Well, looks like it's not. You know what? I may have made a mistake. I'm going to undo back to there. And we're just going to have to do this the hard way. Sometimes it don't work. Sometimes it don't play. And sometimes you just got to do it the hard way. So I will have to look up the Battle of Hastings. Sorry, let's go back. Red painted, to let's see. Uh, the reduced filament purge saved me half a kilo on the first multicolor print after you posted that video. I'm so glad to hear that, Maker Bees. I, 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 I made that video for multiple purposes, and one of which was to save people filament. So I'm glad that it, it served its purpose. Uh, the other per the other point of it, if I'm being honest, was to, you know, motivate. I won't say I won't say, you know, bring them to task or whatever. I don't I don't know what's the what's the fancy way of saying that. Um, but I did want to encourage Bamboo Labs to see that the that the community wants this. And. Uh, and give it to them and it's it seems that they have now do i get to take credit for that do i get to say ah well it's because of my video that they did that yes yes i do and yes i will <laughs> whether it's true or not uh let's see hotfix i linked your video with the suggested enhancement to leon fisher skipper's approach on one of bamboo's labs facebook posts about that i hope they hear you they have it's in the beta version if you haven't heard the beta version of bamboo slicer has that included on it now it they're they're being cautious about rolling it out and so it's only on the um carbon x1 it's not going to be on the mini yet uh Bamboo Bamboo wants to move forward as cautiously as possible. And there, there are some people criticizing them, going, come on, the script works. People have tested it. They're not open source guys. Uh, they are, they are, and if anything goes wrong, they recognize that they have to fix it. And they will fix it. You, we've seen this already. So they are responding to this as cautiously uh, and reasonably as possible. And I don't, I don't begrudge them spending a little bit of time 
to make sure that it's right before they roll it out, running as many tests as they could if they had done that with the A1 before it released. Although, you know, who could have seen that that cable would have gone that out? I, I wouldn't have predicted that. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, red painted toenails. I agree. I like red painted toenails. I think that I think that we should definitely explore that option. But the problem is we only have four colors. I, I, I enjoy working with a limitation because it really forces creativity. But at the same time, um, yeah, I can't just put red to painted toenails. But let's do this. Okay, so I, I think I got them all painted. I got a little bit of white on on the below I, I sometimes don't like to have I, I want my first oops cancel I want my first layer to be a single color now here's here's my question uh, let's go on with chat uh, you have a small bit of light green still at the top I hope I got that uh, lady ass lot and hot fits like my like my ASMR voice um, I like the old like the old hearts of space I'm not sure what she uh, Lady Aslot was talking about there. Dan Kramer, can we get some wigs to attach to make Chibi Ghidorah? A uh, wings to attach to make Chibi Ghidorah. I mean, I think that Chibi Ghidorah, I, I, if we ever do um, the, 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 there, there was a tier during the voting for Godzilla monsters, Godzilla like monsters. So I think that there will be a Ghidorah coming. Also, Ghidorah is only two. No, would, did Ghidorah have two heads or? three heads i can never remember which one only 283 for the next four monsters that is absolutely true thank you for the link hack monkey uh away for a bit gotta buy a washing machine get that washing machine lady ass lot. get that labor saving device i forgot one thing i always run this one gap fill and i turn it up as much as it will boy it's gonna make all my eyeballs disappear so there we go that's as much gap fill as we can do that way all the little ones that i miss get caught uh, I'm talking about your extra tweak to your suggestion. Okay, so the extra tweak, um, quick aside, for those who don't know, I suggested a little while that bamboo pull the filament out before cutting, but my suggestion was, and then push it back in so that the filament is sitting in the hot end. But Leon Fisher, I, ac I actually got to, to communicate with him. And his thought was, if you push it back in while the tip of that is still melty, that is where you will get the mushroom head because it's pushing, but it's, it's melty. So it'll stretch out and that is where we will get clogs. So his thought is pull it out, cut it, let it sit there and cool for just a little bit while we do the filament change and then push it back in. And there might be less clogs and I hate to say it, but I was probably wrong. And I think Leon Fisher is right. And this is, it's probably better not doing the push. So maybe the push is a bad idea. We'll see. Um, and agreed they need to test 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 they are conservative in some areas and ludicrous on others that's that's true i mean that's just life man but that's true uh three pretty much exactly what you have here okay not sure what that was in response to because i'm so bad on keeping up on the chat and then hack monkey says it does seem to be a flip of the coin yeah uh, yeah Agreed. All right. So looking at this monster. Oh, and I need to fix this. I, I realized that a, as much as I wanted the prime tower to be as small as humanly possible, I realized that I needed to, a bigger prime tower falls over less often, but I do like to reduce it down to a little bit. All right. So coming back to this guy, let's go in, let's repaint his toenails the same color as the eyeballs. So we could do that with 100%. Just go bloop, 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 bloop. And then let's play with some colors, guys. I am I am up with the idea that maybe green is not the best color for the Hydra. Because first of all, uh, wasn't the Hydra a water monster? I'm not sure. But let's give him, let's give him red eyes. Let's tone him down just a little bit. So there's his red eyes. Let's take his skin and let's push it a little bit towards the cyan I don't know I don't know if I'll be able to find filament this color but cyan and then shall we do blue fins the problem that I'm seeing already is that we are pushing it towards the same colors that I'm using for um 
Dagon, the whale dude, the whale kid. And that's not bad. That's all right. But, ooh, how do we like blue? Okay, let's try. Let's try something different. Let's try orange as the main color. Okay, not that orange. My, you oh, know, the flesh. Oh. oh, that's better. I like how this one looks like a Muppet. Three get three heads. Ghidorah with just it's Ghidorah with no wings. Well, there you go. It's Ghidorah with no wings. Uh, let's see what color we can change this to and have it be good. What if we do yellow? Don't like it. Don't like it. They say blondes have more fun, but I'm not convinced. Uh, what if what if these were green? It's not bad. What if they were red? Oh. Oh. Now the now. We have reduced it down to just three colors because we don't need two reds on here. But I kind of dig it. I still think that this one is going to be a problem when we print. Green is the best color ever. There are green water snakes. No, I agree. I think green would be fantastic. But I mean, look at this. What if we, hold on. What if we take it one step further? Okay, this is all wrong. This is wrong. This is not the way it should be. Because now he's very fiery. But I don't hate it. Okay, what if instead of red highlights, or what if instead of red eyeballs, we gave him the dark blue? I don't hate this. I don't know. You guys let me know. What, what colors do you think would look best? Okay, definitely Hotfix is voting for green. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slice this plate, and we're going to take a look at it and see if we get any major warnings, and I'll always turn that off. Now, again, look at how small, but looks like we're still getting all the colors of the eyes, so that's good. Uh, teeth are all coming through okay. Spikes coming through okay. I'm still a little bit concerned about that part, but it actually looks like it survives okay. I think I think the only thing there is to do at this point. So I've I've run this is the pretest. But at this point, I think the only thing there's left to do is to run the test print, you know? Uh what let oh to point two, come on. We need to go at least point one two. Uh at least point one two. We gotta go high detail on this one because even though I'm smoothing them. And there, there will be a video about this in the future. Now, why are we getting the, the white creeping into there? And is that going to be a problem? I'll tell you why we're getting white creeping into there. Because at this point, it wants to push the, the white into the center of the body. And this body is all of this. So it's pushing the, the white that direction. That is a problem with the slicer. And I don't particularly love it when it does that. But part of me wonders if that's going to cover it up. Or I also wonder, what if I, see, at, at this point, maybe I'll do some modeling. What if I tilt his head just a little bit? One, that'll give him a bit more of a door personality. And two, that might put enough of a slant there. Now, I, I hate to make these little changes specific to the slicer. Um... But, I mean, it might not be a bad design choice just to kind of take his head and go just a, just a tiny little rotation. I'm making sure that the ear is still contacting the face so that this whole thing becomes one body and becomes stable so that when the kids take it and throw it against the floor, it won't break. Um, but there we go. Another thing worth mentioning on a 0.2 nozzle, on a 0.2 nozzle, because normally I use 0.4 no nozzle, but that's the thing. I've never tested it on a 0.2. Maybe that's a problem. The reduction in purge saves more time than filament, too. On smaller prints, uh, the heart is overlapping your text there. Uh, I have seen 60% time reduction. That's interesting. Oh, because during the purge, it's got to push so much out of the 0.2 nozzle to make sure it has the volume necessary. Yeah, that makes sense. I would not have thought that, but that makes sense. All right, so you guys have seen how I do a test print. Um, you guys have seen the modifications to that. You know what? 
now that I've gone back to the green and gone back to the red, I hate to, I hate the green. Uh, oh, and I also need to, I forgot one thing. This is an important step and it needs, Ooh, but I kind of like the red. I think there are options for this guy. Green and red though. What do you think guys? That don't look half bad. Ooh, you know what? I want that tail to kind of touch the back of the neck too. So I may, or maybe this tail will come up and touch the back of the neck. So let's do some, let's do some quick modifications to the file. So that's why I didn't just do the tiny modification go. There's always something else. Oh man, look at that bendy though. Have I got bendy, bendy bones here? Yeah, I do. All right, Maker Bees, check it out, check it out. Once again, I don't remember what I recommended, but I'm glad you're checking it out. There we go. Just put that one in between. I think I want to take this one. Eh, am I pushing the overhang on it enough? Yeah, I yeah, am. I probably shouldn't push the overhang anymore. Well, yeah, no, yeah, don't. There, see, I got the more contact and I unpushed the overhang. Perfect. Oops. Uh, that's maybe too much. Let's um, just fiddling. Just fid you know, sometimes in every in every design process, you gotta allow some time for just fiddling, for just like playing with it. And, and not being committed to anything and just being ready to to throw away what you've done and start over if you want. Just just little tweaks, little tweaks, little tweaks. I think that's good. Uh, all green felt too Shrek. I agree. And I think I think green and red feels very good. I like this color combination for him. Maybe, can we, can we play with the, maybe we should do with the orange, green and orange. Are green and orange complementary colors? They are, though. I don't hate it. That's a much softer look. Although, if we do it green and yellow, he'll be basically the same colors as Cthulhu. Nope, again, I don't like him as a blonde. I don't like him as a blonde. What I really wish I could do, uh, if I, if I could commit to the, to the bit, I would have number one be red, number two be something else, number three be something else. Um, I think that there's some, some possibilities in that. But overall, I think that's pretty excited. Uh, excited. I think that's pretty excited. I think I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, in Leon's code, Maker Bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight delete that code line. Uh, he didn't delete any code line. He was never pushing it back in. Green, black, and silver are my favorite combo colors. Well, what What if we tried silver and black? Now, I am printing this in ABS, and I don't have any gray ABS, and silver PLA might look really good. But you know what? We are, we are straight up just playing here. Um... I'm going to keep it dark blue. I'm going to keep it dark blue. I'm not sure about the silver. What if we flipped it? What if this became silver and this became green? Maybe we do a, a darker green here. That looks like... I don't know. That looks like the shiny version, you know? <laughs> What if what if this were the blonde? I mean, I don't hate this color combination. You know, we're not married to any of them. We can make them whatever we want. Uh, I'm I have been changing these as I've been printing them out, and quite frankly, I think that there's a ton of colors that we can do, ton of options. We don't have to we don't have to commit. We don't have to commit to anything. 
Uh, just wondering what program I am using to model this. I am modeling in Blender, which I do all of my modeling in. Uh, and I have the YouTube channel Blender, Blender for 3D printing, uh, where I leave all of my Blender videos because they don't do as well. Um, but, you know, I use Blender for all of my modeling. Sorry, just now I'm looking at this guy and wondering if I should make this nose stick out a little bit further. So, like, yeah, you can see that I've done a lot of manipulation with the characters. A slightly pointier nose on him just gives him a little personality. But he's got the slightly flat nose and he's got the spike. Yeah, I like that. Uh, a pink one. Let's play with pink. Let's have fun with pink. All right. Main color pink. All right. Oh, oh, he looks fleshy. He looks fleshy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's make let's make the wings pink and let's see if we can give him a different color. What if we do red? <coughs> I don't like it. I feel like his accents, this particular one's accents need to be darker. Um, I could do the shiny, standard versions and shiny versions. Like, I think it would be fun to just print a bunch of, in just gold, gold PLA and, or silk PLA and include them in the main ones as like, oh, it's a bonus. I, I have thought, if I weren't doing this as a Kickstarter, um, and, and, you know, I could have done that, but I like, I like, I like the interaction of Kickstarters. I don't know. What do you think? Light blue and pink? We got a, we got a boy girl thing going on here. And let's make the eyes dark green. Nope. Nope. Hate that. Immediately hate that. Immediately. Purple. Can we do a dark purple? Do we have a dark purple? I need to get a dark purple. That's that's not bad. This is fun, isn't it? All right. Uh, just wanted. Okay, so uh, Maker Mind Nexus. Good to see you, buddy. Love that logo, man. That is cool. Well done with putting the letters on a cube and just going. Yep, we'll call that a day, and it looked great. Standard version, shiny version. The M four hundreds were mostly after the little purge pulses. It makes. All the actions have short pauses before the next one. I also combined a lot of little pulses into a bigger bump. That's interesting. I wonder what the consequence of getting rid of the pause is there. Because again, uh, uh, they're being super they're being super conservative in a lot of things that they're doing, and so it's possible that it's uh it's fine without the pauses, but they're being super. Uh, careful about it. I just wanted to pull up real fast a live view of my mini, which is sitting on my desk over there. Hello. Uh, as soon as the camera moves back. Oh yeah, sorry. Hello. Hey. How much leg do we have here? <laughs> That's terrible leg. Um, but yeah, I'm printing out a bunch of of these on my mini. Uh, this is the this is the. All right, I think I'm I think I'm done with this guy. I'm going to go ahead and export him. But this is the Dagon that we were looking at just a second ago. I'm printing out the Dagon. And the Dagon actually underwent a bit of a change. I did a couple of prints of him uh, in a light blue. And what was it about this that I didn't like? Uh, first of all, his contact on the build plate is very, very small um, because I wanted to, him to kind of have a big head but I, I decided instead to just give him a little bit more weight give him a little bit more of a belly I don't think that that's going to affect the sticker or the illustration any I think it, it'll still look fine but now he's got a huge contact area on the build plate and I'm much happier with him and so I'm printing a bunch of them uh, to test that and I'm doing that in poly smooth PLA and I will be smoothing them afterwards and I realized that I am talking to you guys about a video that I have shot but not edited and not put up there I have a video about poly smooth and then I'll be following that up with a video about ABS and then I'll be following that up with a video about ABS so I need a video editor I just need <laughs> uh, let's see pink eyes pink eyes okay if we're gonna do if we're gonna design them with pink eyes Let's take a look at the pink eyes. 
I mean, we could do red eyes. No, let's look at red eyes. I don't like the red eyes on this one. If we're going to design them with pink eyes and pink toenails, we need to, oh, crap. Well, I just shut myself up. I was going to say, we need to think about, you know, we need to design a scheme around it because obviously this isn't going to work. I think this works. I kind of like this. I don't love it, but I kind of like it. What if we do a light green? I don't hate this. Look at this. I don't hate this. Uh, let's see. That looks awesome. I do. I, I agree that, but we're, we're playing. We'll see. Actually, let's, let's commit to a color scheme and put it in the blender source file. That's where the truth lies. <laughs> so we've decided that the, that the green is just meh. So let's change some things here. Uh, let's take the green and we're going to swap it out for did we decide cyan light blue okay we're going to take the eyeball color and did we decide to leave that red or what did we decide that was going to be i don't remember pink and green but the toenails black would pop more oh, we, could, we could try that out pink and green but black toenails Black toenails, but not black eyeballs. Let's just make sure that we're, we're on the same page here. Whoops, that was wrong. Nope, nope, bring back the pink. As, as, as immediately when I said bring back the pink, my mind went, oh, that could be an ad slogan for something. And then I was like, oh, what could that be an ad slogan for? Uh, who's pink? Oh, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, they're not they're not super uh, popular in the zeitgeist right now. I don't know if bring back the pink would be a good idea. Bring back the pink seems sounds to me like something that uh, people would say who were like, "Oh, I I can't believe that that uh, you know Victoria's Secret decided to stop doing all the things that they were doing that were creating bad body images for girls." Like, I don't see that being a bad thing. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. It looks good. It looks good. Do we like these colors? Pink eyes, little little black on the maybe not black on the toes. Let's make the toes. Let's try a uh, dark blue. Let's try a light blue. Just not nah, that light blue. I can already tell it's gonna fail. Blue's wrong. Um, let's try red. Red's not wrong. I'm not super sold on it, though. What do you guys think? All right. Pink, green, tone, nails, black. Uh, the bigger blast of the purge might plug up the poop shoot. I mean, yeah, man. That's that's just that's just a problem in life. Uh, one problem that I have is that I don't think I have any pink ABS or polish smooth. So in order to test this in pink, I'd have to get those. So I'm going to have to test it in another color, which means I might be committing to another color. What if we just do the fins in red? Does Polysmooth... I mean, I don't hate the red. I feel like I want the toenails, though. To, well, you know, yeah, I want the toenails to be a different color. I want to separate the feet. I don't like black, though. This is how art is done. Try something, throw something at the wall and see what sticks. Yellow? Again, though, I think that we have just recreated uh, um, Cthulhu's palette. Uh, uh, the only difference is Cthulhu has black instead of white, but I think we just recreated Cthulhu. I am going to eschew this and say we're, we're taking him light blue and we're figuring it out from there. So, so I am, I am putting down my foot. He's going to be light blue. The highlight color is going to be either red or pink or something like that. If we can do it, um, orange. I don't hate orange. Orange is all right. I'm going to, I'm going to put him in the official color palette though as pink for now. Um, And the toes, we're going to rejigger 
instead of being white. Although they could be white. But for now, we're going to rejigger them to be whatever the heck color the eyes are. Okay. Oh, I did the eyes a darker color. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, you can assign a default color in the profile and then name them anything you want, but that could get very hanky or something hard to manage over time. Uh, is it possible to save colors with the filament name for easy color picking of what you have at home? No. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it, you can either choose generic PLA or generic ABA. It doesn't even have poly smooth on here. I just have to print it as PLA. I'm sorry. I just saw his face like this, and I fell in love with him again. Um, there was a pa tiny pause there. One thing that annoyed me is Bamboo used the same start code for all the machines. No need for LiDAR settings on the P1 and A1 series. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I'll throw that on the list of things that that Bamboo could do better. I, I keep on feeling like I should do a video where I'm... I'm the the ostensive reason of the video is to tear into bamboo and then when the video gets going it's like i mean it's not that bad really i don't like how that i'm looking at this this thing here and i'm noticing that it's way down so either these need to be up or that needs to be down and i think porque no los dos okay listen you Nope, unfortunately, that needs to go more down. That's better. I still don't love that one there. All right, um, depending on how many spools you keep on, you can assign default colors in the profile and name them anything you want, but that could get very hard to manage over time depending on how many spools you keep on hand. Now, in a production environment, that might be useful, though. Uh, back to work for me. Maker Mind Nexus, thank you for stopping by. Uh, have we already been streaming for an hour? We've already been streaming for an hour. So here's the thing. I was planning on this stream to be like, let's pull up a character and start modeling it. And you guys could see the modeling process. And what did we end up doing? Fiddling with colors for an hour. But that is the creative process, y'all. Sometimes... You just got to fiddle with the colors for an hour. And we have. And we've done some good stuff. Um, but it is 10.30. Uh, you know we all have a Discord link. Link in the description. There is a Discord link. Discord.3dpprofessor.com It hasn't quite been an hour, guys. Uh, I'm seeing that now. And so we don't have to stop immediately. But I do need to get ready for work. So I probably have to stop here in just a little bit. Again, if I didn't have, you know, if I could do this full time, if I could design models full time, oh, what a world that would be. I would be, I would be very happy to stream all day with you guys and stream all night with you as well. Maybe not all night, but a significant portion of the day. Um, I love them. I think this turned out great, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this Hydra. Um, if you, you, you know what's funny, if we go back to the, to the Kickstarter and go to the update that I sent out, what was it, yesterday? Letting people know about this. This was what the Hydra looked like yesterday. Okay. This was as far as I had gotten. And you can see the bones of what was there. But then take a look at where he is now. I've done a lot of fiddling with the shape of the head. I reshaped the head a ton and then split it off and made three different ones. And then all the posing and all that stuff. I mean, just look at the difference that a day makes. This looks sterile. This... 
looks vibrant and fun. I'm happy with this. I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm looking at this from all angles right now as it goes around and make sure I like the connection, I like the connection. Good. Um, do I stream on Twitch as well? I stream so infrequently that it is not... Um, no, I don't stream on Twitch. Uh, I love the Hydra. Happy with the direction I took him. I, you know, yes, I agree. He looks very Muppety to me. But if you look at, uh, let's let's pull up in Series 1, uh, Yogg Sathoth, which I have not renamed here, so I need to rename him here. Is it Sathoth or Sathoth? I've never known. I mean, it's a made-up word and a made-up language, but he also looks very Muppety. And so I think it's very... I, I, I think I'm keeping it relatively consistent. Um, this guy doesn't look as Muppety. This is one of the first ones that I designed, though, so it's not surprising to me that he's a little bit... Like, I think as this goes on, there's going to be a convergence in styles. Um, but at the same time, I love the original ones. I love that we can keep it varied as it goes uh 3d builder highly underrated utility just don't actually try to build with it it's true i use it for for two things i use it for bringing in a model after i'm modeling it to correct any problems with the vertices and i use it for making quick renders and basically the way that i make a quick render with it is i position them and do some quick coloring in 3d builder and then i take a screenshot you know, but I'm talking like quick renders. Uh, like here, if I were to if I were to use 3D Builder to show off, you know, this guy next to other guys. Yeah, awesome. And guys, uh, just just to let you know, and I and I'm not like if you're backing me on the Kickstarter, thank you very much. And I'm not asking for anything more than that. But I am making you aware that I have a club on printables. Let me really quickly pull that up. And if you go to my club on printable, not my club, these are the stats on my club. Hey, look at that. I have stats. Uh, but if you go to uh, 3DP professor, or I guess I'm 3D printing professor. Ah, oh, doggone it. I need I need my branding to be consistent. I'm, I may be, I may have to redo this as 3DP if I can. Uh, but I do have club models. And the club models that I shared with people on my printables club was the first round of Cthulhu and friends. So you guys could go and check those out and do some test prints right now. Um, yeah. And of course, I mean, obviously I was advertising for the Kickstarter, um, but I'm not ashamed of that, you know? Anyways, back to 3D Builder. Check this out. You rock, rock into paint. Hit color, full coverage, choose your colors. I think he's going to be cyan. He's going to be green. He's going to be yellow because he's Haster, the king in yellow. And then I can take this. I can position them, deselect everything. Uh, actually, what I oftentimes do to get rid of those those numbers on there. I don't know. Is there a way to do it in the view? Shading, smoothing, wireframe, grid. Uh... No. Nope. Oh, there we go. Turn off grid labels. Hey, look at that. Anyways, uh, deselect all. Hide the view. Move it up. And then I would take a, just hit a screenshot of this. And be like, there we go. There's, you know, whenever I'm on Discord or something and people are like, show me the model. This is how I show people the model. Just like that. Uh, I use a program called Green Shoot. To do my green to do my screenshots although i think if you know the hotkeys there's a way to capture just a region of the screen in windows it's probably control print screen or something like that and then you capture that drop it into the clipboard paste it into discord and you can show people hey here's the new model that i'm working on and here's how it compares to other models and stuff like that um so that's that's what i, I use 3d builder for fixing my models and i use 3d builder for showing off my models Alrighty, let's do another funny sign just for fun. 
Swimming notice. Minnesota state law strictly prohibits underwater smoking. That's not even Changlish. That's Minnesota. How did they do that? All right, you guys. Well, I've been having a good time. Win shift S. There we go. There is a hotkey for it. Just have to learn it. Um, but there we go. Let me turn that back on. And that's the other way. Another good way to get a screenshot is in, in Blender, you hit Z, which changes your view. You can switch it to wireframe view or mirror tier. I, I, there, well, no, if I do rendered view, it won't work because there are no camera or there's no lighting in the scene. But if I turn on the the layer that has lighting, now we can see a rendered preview view. But you notice how the skeleton and all the helper objects that I have are still visible. If you hit Z and toggle overlays, those all go away. And that way, you can just really quickly grab a screenshot of this sucker and and uh, share your work with other people. So that's pretty cool, too. I'm looking at them now, and I'm wondering, do I need to, like, move this up into the forehead? Like, I think I'm going to leave it on him so he looks a little balding. But I wonder if, like, for these guys, I should... Well, let's let's play with that real fast. We are in fiddle mode, guys. Fiddle mode's a good time to play with stuff. Command, shift, three, four, and five, I think, for Mac. Awesome. We are we are multilingual here. We are multi-tech-wool here. I, you know, I try to sound clever, and then I talk. All righty. I'm just going to move this forward. I'm kind of having to do it blindly. Actually, what I could do is turn on that so I see where it goes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I don't hate what that's doing. Oh, I don't hate that at all. Oh, thank you, fiddle time. Holy smokes, I love that. All right. He just looks awesome now. I, I love those little moments. I love those little moments when you're, when you're working on something and you don't know how it's going to turn out. And you try it anyways, and it just works. Okay, I don't know if I want him to be that far forward. But maybe I want that one to be a little bit higher. I'm not sure. I'm still I'm still I'm still not committed. What's funny? No, this works. This works. Because there's no there's no clear progression of one, two, three in this one. Although there is a clear progression left to right. Um as far as going forward, but one, two, three breaks the progression. So I don't know, maybe maybe I want to take this guy and I want to move him up here. And I want to take this guy and I want to move him back just a scotch. I love the word scotch. That's one of my favorite borrowed colloquialisms. And then, you know what? I'm actually going to take this guy and I'm going to move his back. Like, I want him to be a little balding. I want him to be like a little, a little, uh, little Bozo the Clown. <laughs> that makes me laugh. That makes me happy. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I did not expect to like this as much as I do. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's good stuff. <laughs> I think I'm going to take these guys and move them back so that there's a little bit more flop on that. Oh, armature needs to come before the solidify, though. Am I doing that on these other ones, too? No. Armature before the solidify. Thank you. Armature before the solidify. Excellent. Uh, you're also... This is also going further down the neck. That will... This will help with printability. Um, we're just getting rid of some of that overhang. 
because that's pushing the overhang it really is and I think I can fix that by I think his head can tilt forward a little bit oh except oh boy sorry guys Volt greetings Volt the robot good to have you here buddy we are just in fiddle mode on this model you want to see something neat in blender if you select a bone and hit r twice it does like a look at rotation so it's good for very like humanistic animations uh and i use that sometimes not using it today because i'm more concerned about overhangs so what I don't like about this is that they're both looking inward, and I don't necessarily want them both looking inward. But what I don't like about this is that these ears are kind of intersecting. So I'm gonna tr I'm gonna do something real fast. I'm gonna shrink this by 0.8, but then grow the head by 0.12. That gives him a very short neck. I don't like it. Is there a way that I can tell this bone to stretch? I don't know. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. I'm afraid he's got to tilt his head just a little bit inward. But maybe if it's subtle enough. Maybe if it's just a little bit. Alright, we're going to go with that for now. Okay, I'm gonna stop fiddling with it. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm making it worse. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm making it better. Arr! So frustrated. Want it to be better, but I'm making oh that's oh that's well. Are those close enough? Just nestle it on in there, buddy. All right, there we go, there we go. Done. I think I got it. I think I got it. Twenty-five watching right now. Excellent. It only took us an hour to get up to twenty-five. Uh, yeah, Cyber Grief. I'm glad that you found it as well. There was a problem with the uh, notifications. Um, and sometimes that happens. Sometimes stuff happens. There are whole bumper stickers about that. Uh, but that's all right. Maybe we'll get a lot of people on the replay. Maybe we'll get nobody. Uh, just to let you guys know, I am planning on... So at the beginning of this screen, uh, can I move the middle one back a little? Okay, uh, good thought, Volt. Let's give that a shot. Um, let's just let's just move him. Brr, whoops. Okay, apparently I can't move him like that, so I'm gonna have to angle him. Mm, okay, I don't like it, and the reason why I don't like it is because angling him like that brought his head down. And kind of messed with this guy. What if I just bring this guy forward a little? Like that. Maybe a little bit more. What if... Part of me is saying rotate the body like this and then rotate the head like that. What if, okay, so if I don't want them both look in that direction, nah, I, you know what, it's better like this. I just wish he wasn't looking that far over. 
Let's see if we can bring him just a little bit forward again. That's not bad. That's not bad. There. There. We're going to go with that. See how that works. Now, one thing I want... I, I was noticing that this guy right here was a little bit pushing it for the... Uh, For the overhangs, and I was wondering if any of these could be adjusted to loosen up the overhangs. Yeah, that actually worked. Holy smokes, I did not expect that to work that way. Okay, groovy. We are copacetic. Let's see. Caps lock. <laughs> Thanks for your content. I still use Blender as well. I love Blender. Uh, Blender does everything you want it to do. There's nothing... There's nothing that Blender doesn't do. And that's good, but that's also... It's frustration. People are like, ah, I get so overwhelmed looking at Blender. Yes, I get that. And I understand that, and I appreciate that. Um, smashes the like button. Uh, I am on one other Discord, and I can help, and I can't keep up with that one. It's like overloaded work, personal life, and Facebook. Hey, I understand it, buddy. But I will say this: my Discord right now is fairly chill. Uh, we don't got a whole lot of people on it. We don't got a whole lot of um, things going on. You know, I just realized something. I've been I've been annoyed that the ears are poking out too far, but I could potentially rotate these ears so that number two had ears almost straight back and I could potentially take these ears and rotate them this way so that number one or three had ears that were super flayed I just leave number well I don't know I, again I like the idea of them being like nah I prefer it the other way but I can tilt them in just a little bit and that kind of brings his profile in just a little bit this this right here is the the hole that I'm going to make for all of them to fit in and I want everything to fit within that hole but I may I may have to design with this hole in mind and then push it out for like a couple of them it looks great thank you ma'am um, oh, so I was going to say, my, my Discord's fairly chill right now if you decide to jump on, you probably won't be too overwhelmed at the moment um I think you'll be all right. I think you'll be all right. What is happening here? Something weird is happening here. I wonder if... Hold on for a second. Let's turn on modifiers one at a time. Holy smokes! Okay, so that's what's happening here, is that some of this is going underneath and some of this is not... But I got some wonker doodles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if, first of all, let's clear parent. That gets rid of the armature animation. Um, let's go into the data. Let's clear all the data groups out. You don't need to do this. But it just makes it, just makes it tidy. And then reselect the armature. Control parent that sucker. Uh, with automatic weights how come that's not where where's art automatic weights do I need to do this there we go there we go with automatic weights how would that be it oh uh, I know why that's happening Let's go back into the modifiers. Let's fix the modifier stack here. The armature needs to go before the shrink wrappy. That did not work. Okay, I am obviously going to be having to play with some weight paints. That's not exciting. Yeah, that's not exciting. All right. Yeah, it's active, but not that crazy. Like one or two messages per day, and it's it's fine. It's it's enough that I can keep up with it, and I appreciate that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to go back.
there's definitely something walker doodles going on i'm gonna have to wait paint this sucker but it's better to wait paint this than to have to wait paint the whole thing i wonder if i could just well we'll figure it out we'll figure it out off camera because it is 10 45 it is time for me to yeah discord.3dpprofessor.com um and like i'm a part of other busier discords and i pop in and like try to be active in them but my activity is like find one thing to comment on and then run away um but yeah come join me on my discord and again i will be doing a late night with the 3d printing professor because i've got a lot of modeling to do i'm going to be working on uh more characters in the interim i'll hopefully have more to show you guys i hope that you guys enjoy what's going on with the hydra i think he's looking rather good so far uh, i'm glad that you guys like him so far and that's it for today thank you guys very much for watching um i want to remind you as always that you are a child of god so you're special to me so take care of yourself and if you can someone else too i've got an ending screen but i have forgotten to update the uh, list of patreon backers so this is this is a couple months old but uh thank you thank you everybody